not gonna be worse than. Oh, you told me that we ate, bro. Uso. What's the time? I don't well hello everyone welcome back to my channel how are you doing today i hope you're doing fantastic i hope all is going well with you and your loved ones if today is your first time checking out my channel well thank you and welcome aquaba please make sure that you click on the subscribe button click the notification bell this way whenever i upload a video you will be the first to know and if you are returning to my channel well thank you so much for coming back aquaba all right so let's get on with today's video so today i want to talk about roofing the installation of the roofing and issues that you may encounter and what to watch out for questions to ask when your roofing is being installed so i will touch a bit on the roofing and also pop what is pop pop stands for plaster of paris it's a material used for making false ceiling so anyway i had my ceiling uh let me say roofing installation done about nearly five years ago and i noticed some issues with it that i want to talk about this way um whenever when you do your roofing installation you know you would um you can learn from my experience dealing with roofing uh installation and issues that i uh, encountered i mean it's not major issues well it can be a major issue if you don't catch it you know in the beginning it may be a major issue for you in the long run so today's topic i'm going to talk a bit about the roofing installation the woods you know that was used in my installation of the roofing and also the pop um that i had done so let's get on with today's topic wait by the way Hmm. look check out my hair it grew my hair actually grew overnight can you believe it can you believe it <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm just kidding it's a wig you know i'm wearing a wig today you know um if you have hair issues you know you can always change it up and wear a wig i mean i don't i still wear my natural hair out i don't mind wearing short hair out i actually like it a lot it's just that you know occasionally i like to you know play in wigs so today i'm wearing this wig and it's called bishu bishi bishu i don't know i will leave the description somewhere if anyone cares to know all right let's get on with today's topic okay so i just want to make a disclaimer i am not claiming to be a professional in building at all by no means am i claiming to be a professional builder i am simply sharing my experience with you um my building experience issues that i've encountered you know my mistakes you know that i've made questions that i didn't know to ask you know problems that you may just encounter when you're building a house you know anywhere in africa anywhere anywhere period when you're building a house so this is simply my experience i'm just simply sharing my experience and perhaps i hope that it helps someone out there actually when i started my youtube channel i didn't intentionally start the channel for building particularly building in ghana i actually started the channel because i love youtube because i watch so many youtube videos and i wanted to start my own channel however i also wanted to share my experience of building or experience of even buying a land actually that's what started it buying a land um issues that you may encounter you know the pros and cons of, you know good and bad dealing with you know land um buying registration um land guards any issues that i encountered good and bad i just wanted to share my experience so that was the beginning of my youtube video and i noticed that people were interested in you know building building in ghana and so that's what started um 
um, the videos um, but this channel is not just for building in Ghana I'm just simply going to share whatever it is that I want to share on this um, channel you know I'm interested in so many things and therefore whenever I feel the need to you know create a content or you know film a video I'm going to share it on this channel so so i hope that my subscribers or anyone will just simply appreciate what i put on this channel but mainly i think i will do a lot of videos in dealing with um, building in ghana from the building buying lands registration and also decorating so my next phase i want to do some decoration and uh, i'll make sure to um, share it on this channel all right so let's get on with today's topic so, today so as always make sure that you do your own research in any aspect of building in uh, wherever in Ghana particularly and, All right. and I wish you the very best in your building projects in wherever you are it can be anywhere in Africa it can be anywhere in the world I just wish you the best and hope that you have a better experience so I had my roofing done a few years ago and I used a company name DBS Ghana DBS Ghana so this is the website of dbsghana.com, the roofing company that I used um, for my roofing work. So here you can see a picture of the colors of the roofing sheet. Um, here you can see how the wood structure is laid is framed before the roofing sheet is applied and here I think we're looking at um, steel um, frame which is also called um, steel metal um, trusses metal trusses metal alazon trusses and this is the new type of um, framing work in in the market right now it is more durable and it lasts a lot longer i mean it just i think lasts um forever because unlike wood wood is a natural material and um you know it can be affected by the element and also termites can you know infest um the wood so seal steel uh, metal is much better metal trusses is new in the market in the residential building construction well at least it's, it's new to me I just learned about it um, wooden trusses don't last as long as metal or steel trusses because wood is natural material and it cannot stand up to the elements as well as steel is a seal steel anyway <laughs> If um, I had to do it again, I would definitely choose metal trusses because it lasts practically forever in a day. <laughs> Sorry, nothing lasts forever. Anyway, seriously, metal trusses is um, metal trusses is more expensive, but you don't have to worry about uh, termites destroying the wood, especially if it is not um, treated um uh, let's see let's explore the website a little bit further so as you can see um they have steel roofing um i wish i knew at the time about steel roofing because um you don't really you don't have to worry about termites um um issues um or a, the wood being weak uh in the long run in case it wasn't treated um, so you see they have shingle tiles, Europe, Euro tiles. Um, these are type of roofing sheets that you can have. This green color right here is very, very popular in Ghana at a time when I was installing my roofing sheet. And I believe it's still popular in Ghana. Um, there are other types of roofing sheet like this one here to the right of um, the screen. All right, let's, so let's explore the website some more. Let's see what's under here. So right, as I said, I have a small issue with my roofing and I have contacted the, um, after several emails, I believe over a year ago, 
via the website. I never received a response, but they do have a, a telephone number and it's also registered in West WhatsApp. And I reached, I called the number on WhatsApp or texted someone, you know, texted the number on WhatsApp and immediately someone responded. And I'm currently in communication with um, the company and um, the person who responded, the representative or the agent is looking into my issue. I did tell her about the issue that I'm currently having and um, I believe she requested for a way bill, the receipt and also the name um, of the person who requested the work to be done. As you can see here, they have 20 years warranty on their roofing sheet. So, um, of course, it's been four years, and with the four years of we are not able to locate the receipt at this time. Hopefully, I find it, but until um, I find it, I've asked her to look for it, look in their records um, for the name, you know, and let's go by that. Because if you have 20 years warranty, then of course, um, 20 years warranty, it's only been about four years right now. So what does the warranty really covers? That's something that you really have to make sure when you're getting your roofing work done. Um, I believe they have locations in Kumasi, Accra, Takrade, Tamale, and Sunyani. When I did that, um, when my roofing was being installed, I wasn't there. So this is 20% of the time when I wasn't there with my um, building projects. As I said in some of my videos, I mentioned that um, I was actually on site 80% of the time um, when my um, house was being built. I was there 80% of the time. So the 20% that I wasn't there were included um, when the roofing was um, is was installed. Is that how you say it? Okay, when the roofing job was done. So when the roofing job was done, um, I think um, the person that was overseeing the work um, contacted uh, the roofing company. So when the roofing was done, you know, they put a lot of woods, you know, um, before the roofing sheet is laid. I'm not really sure the correct terms to use. I'm just simply sharing my basic knowledge of you know the installation work that was done so when the um, roofing was being done um they use uh, woods you know woods um was installed you know they they um um how do i say it they first lay out the woods you know the wooden work where the uh, roofing sheet will be laid on once the the roofing job is being done, I hope that you have like a qualified or someone with uh, uh, someone very knowledgeable in the building experience to be there or your contractor or whoever is overseeing the work, you know, to be there, you know, at all times and supervise the work. I mean, they're not experts, experts in that field, but at least they can supervise the work. In saying that, I mean, not a lot of woods was used, you know, to the for the framework um, of the wooden construction for the roofing sheet to be, you know, to cover, to cover, you know. So in that case, when that is not done correctly, um, you are going to encounter issues. Now, the framing of the woodwork is not done by the roofing sheet company. It is usually done by uh, a different vendor, um, carpenters, that uh, you contract to do the roofing um, framing work. So the wood framing work. So it's done by a different vendor. You have to make sure that they use enough woods or else you're going to have problems uh, in the long run. And also the roofing sheet company should be able to tell you that whether they use enough wood before they um, apply the sheets or not. And if not, then it needs to be reinforced. So after the roofing installation was done, I went to the site with a friend of mine who is very knowledgeable 
with building i mean he has a business um with building and construction so i took him to the side to check it out and when he got there he, he noticed that um, there wasn't a lot of woods used for the framework you know for the roofing sheet to be applied so he said that is a very you know that is unacceptable he I highly advise that uh, we go and get some more woods to reinforce, you know, what was already there. It wasn't enough. So he told me about someone's building um, that was done. However, the roofing, the, the wood that was used was not enough to hold the roofing sheet or the joints. So therefore, in a strong wind during the raining season, in a very strong wind, his, the roof of the house blew off and i don't want that so he noticed that with my roofing if i don't do something about it i would definitely encounter the problem you know of this guy whose roof blew off of his house because the wooden wasn't enough to hold down the roofing sheets so we went ahead and bought some more woods i believe some of the best wood to use are oak, cherry, um, pine wood, and um, you know, other woods out there that I may not know about. But just make sure that they're using the very best wood, you know, for the framework before the ceiling, before the roofing sheet is installed i just want to advise you that if you're there when the roofing work is being done when the roofing is being installed just ask questions ask them what type of wood are they using for the construction are they going to use enough wood to hold down the roofing sheets in case of a strong wind in my case when my i wouldn't have known and uh, the person who was overseeing the work wouldn't have known because he does, he's not an expert in that field. But then when I brought in an expert, a friend of mine, to oversee, you know, to see what was done, you know, I just actually wanted him to take a look at my project and uh, give me his advice or opinion where he feels, you know, that the work wasn't done right and there's some correction that I may have to do so when he saw it he advised me to get some more wood so that they can actually he brought in his own um, building his own workers to come in and do the work of um, of the of the wooden work to add more wood so that in the uh, event of a strong wind the roof would not blow off so whenever you notice like wood powder anywhere in the house, you more than likely have a problem with termites. You know, there may be termites eating up the wood. So make sure you get that check and fix that problem right away. So now I'm quite sure that I may have a problem with termites. I haven't really have an expert to check to see if there's termites in the woods but i mean we're kind of sure that there is because you see the powder and when the guy was up there you know walking on the wood it broke why because it's not strong enough why because it's not treated so now we need to treat the wood up there with chemicals um so that it's strong enough to withstand um the elements <laughs> I said, I I I'm a good guy. 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 I
Remember this thing was there was a damage there. This guy was breaking it apart and we were all scared. But look what the well look what he's done so far. The finishing work looks really, really good. So whenever you need someone to fit do your roofing um POP, this is called POP, right? T T T and T or whatever. This is the guy to you know look for. So that once the wood is treated, you know, I won't have any issues with termites or any other elements. The reason why the, the wood broke as the guy was walking, um, as the electrician was walking on it, is because, you know, the wood wasn't treated. Termites were probably eating up the wood. And therefore, I had to get the POP repaired. So make sure that the work is done right in the very beginning. Make sure that um, the roofing company that you're using is using the proper, you know, roofing material. And make sure that you select the best roofing sh work sheet. Um, at the time when my roofing was installed, that roofing sheet, you know, sh that I'm showing you right now, was the most popular one everywhere i i um i looked i saw that roofing sheet being used in new buildings um so i'm not sure it's currently it's it, i'm sure they probably have something new right now although that is also being used as we speak i'm not sure if it is the best but do your homework um i really didn't even do my homework to see what is best for me i just noticed that they were using that type of um roofing sheet was the popular at the time of um when i planned on installing my roof so that's the one that i chose they it comes in it comes in so many different colors like blue um red um, green and um, some other colors but the color that I chose was the dark reddish you know like um, um, what color is it this color this color right here that's the one that I chose and I think that is the popular color um, going right now so just make sure that you know what type of ceiling um, sheets that they have going on which is stronger which is best for the elements and um, choose from your option Another problem that I have is that the edges of the roofing sheet is fading away. I'm not sure it's because of the rain, you know, the constant pounding of the rain, but that shouldn't be an issue. So the, the edges, you know, of the sheet, and I think we need to put POP along the edges because it's not done. I will do that um, in the near future. The edges of the roofing sheet is fading and also there are, it's, it's, it's rusting. The edges of the roofing sheet is rusting. Why is it rusting? It shouldn't be rusting. That's a huge problem, you know? So the roofing sheet is fading on the edge and also it is rusting on the edge. So I contacted the roofing company and as I said, the roofing company is DBS Ghana. And that is one of the leading roofing companies in Ghana. And according to their website, they have 20 years guarantee on their roofing installation. So if 20 years guarantee, and this was installed like actually less than five years ago. No. So I shouldn't have to have any issues whatsoever with the roofing and also with the wood that was done. I just took it upon myself and had it reinforced it by adding more wood to reinforce, you know, the strength of the, um, of the original installation. Yeah. I have contacted the company several times via email. I sent the company an email to let them know the issue that I'm having with the roof, you know, the fading and the rusting of the along the edges of the roofing sheet. I've contacted them several times, at least two times. They haven't responded to me. I will go ahead and contact them by phone and see what they're willing to do to correct the problem. You know, especially when they have 20 years warranty on their installation of the roofing sheet. 
So I hope to hear from them. If I hear from them, I'll make another video to let you know what they have done to correct the issue. You know, um, that shows that that's a good and reputable company to, you know, to go to for your roofing work. So I really hope that I hear from them. I'm going to contact them by phone. Also ask Kwame to contact them and I hope they return our calls and respond to my email, especially when they have 20 years warranty. And I hope that they honor the warranty that they have shown on their website, you know? So just make sure that you do your homework and contact, you know, companies before you do the installation, ask them, do you have any warranty? You know, what kind of warranty do you have? Update. I contacted uh, the company again on the phone and I was able to speak to a representative. She asked me to provide the way bill, the receipt and the name on the order. Now it's been about four years now since the installation and unfortunately we can find the receipt um, at the moment. I've asked her to look up the name um, in their records and she said that she will look into it and get back to me. So the rep has been very responsive thus far. If I receive a positive outcome, I would definitely recommend uh, and endorse um, this company. And if not, then you make your own decision. I will keep you informed. So that I know whether to give you my business or seek um, another company to do the work. Oh, yeah. So do your homework and make sure that you are employing the, the, the right company to install your roofing sheet for you. House. Right. So I'm like 80 to 90% done with the building of, of the house. And right now I'm just going to stop everything and work on getting the roofing, um, issue done. So we're going to get the wood treated with chemicals so that, you know, I wouldn't have a problem with termites and that when they go in to, you know, access the wires or do some work up there, they won't encounter, you know, um, the wood breaking off and then penetrating through the POP, you know, that will create um, a host of issues and, you know, expense that you don't want so that needs to be done and also at the edge of the uh, roofing sheet the pop was not done i'm not sure whether that is done was supposed to be done by the company that's another question that i will ask if they do return my calls and if they do re respond to my email um, i'm going to find out whether that was something that they overlooked and didn't take care of or is the work of the uh, homeowner to do um, to do so um, but what I need to do right now is to tackle the wooden work by treating the wood and also by getting the edges of the of the ceiling you know done with POP you know so now the next thing that I need to do with the building project is to make sure that the wood is treated you know, to avoid any termites um, problems and also that when they go in to repair, do some repairing, they will not um, break anything up there. They won't break the wood because the wood is not strong enough due to the fact that it hasn't been treated. So I'm going to get that treated. I'm going to make sure that the edges of the roofing work um, is done with POP. And um, yeah, that's the next thing that I'm going to work on. And from that, I will do um, the kitchen and also the landscaping of the house. And I will then move on to the summer hut and build the summer hut. So help me God. So that is what I need to do, you know, for my building project. So, so do make sure you return to this channel for, you know, updates on my building project. So I want to let you know that I'm going to have some more content on building in Ghana right here on this channel. I'm going to have a, a interview with um, my electrician concerning the um, installation of the uh, security cameras. I'm also going to have an interview with um, the person who installed the electrical fence, the electric fence you know, that was done. I'm going to interview him and we'll talk about, you know, the cause, um, how effective is electrical 
um, fence, um, what happens in case there's a um, outage, like power outage. So I'll ask him so many questions, you know, that may help you. So if you have any questions that you want me to ask, okay, so let me know what questions that you have or any other topics that you want me to address. I will do that for you, you know. Well, we have come to the end of this video on the topic of roofing installation and POP. I hope that you enjoy this video. I hope that you learned something from my experience. I hope that you will know the right questions to ask, you know, when it comes time for you to install your roofing, your roof and, um, you know, I just pray that you have a better experience than I had. So I know there are people out there watching this video that are have more expertise in this area than I do. I am simply sharing my experience. So if you do, please make sure that you leave a comment so that we can learn, you know, from you. This platform is for us to learn, you know, from each other. I'm mainly sharing my experience. All right. So thank you so much for watching Medasim, right? Until then, until I see you again, make sure if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe by clicking on the subscribe and then click on the notification bell. This way, whenever I upload a video, you will be notified. All right. It was here for Medasi. Medasi. Anyway, until next time, I will see you again on the next video. Or is it in the next video? On the next video? In the next video? I don't know. Let's call the whole thing off. Thank you so much for watching. Medasi. Bye. That I created, um, I think it's about 10 years ago walk up i created t-shirts for the ghana team not for the team directly per se but i made t-shirts to sell you know featuring the ghana players on the t-shirt these are some of the t-shirt right here so this is a white one that has ghana you know on it and then i also have this color the name of the company was, I called my company B of Hollywood. I have not forgotten about my giveaway. Yes, I have reached the 3,000, you know, past the 3,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for all of those who have subscribed to my channel. And please make sure if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. So I do have an upcoming um, giveaway. And in the giveaway, I'm gonna include this t-shirts that I created for the World Cup game, um, 2019 World Cup. I created um, Ghana t-shirts for, you know, to sell to Ghanaians and um, friends of Ghana. This is the white um, t-shirt. Um, this is the yellow one. See, still brand new in the box. Um, and um, yeah, so it will have, you know, the Ghana star like this. And um, you see, this is the t-shirt. So I'm sure it's reverse image because of the, the camera um, app that I'm using, right? So this is the shirt. I designed this and sold a lot during the World Cup in South Africa. What was it? 2010 South Africa World Cup, you know, World Cup. And it also come in black, you know, this is the black one. Let me open it and show you the black one. Some of them have um, the player's name. I had Essien, Montari, Apia, and who else? I forgot. That was a fourth person. So this is, you know, how it looks. The black one, it has Ghana, and some has the player's name on the back. So I'm going to give this away. I will leave the instructions on how to, you know, participate in the giveaway. Bye.